Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Resident Evil 2 on Xbox One. We're uh, carrying on straight from part one, so... We've got the knife, so let's cut this open. Loving it so far. I'm, I didn't see a gun shop on the way here, so... Uh, that was strange. I hope I didn't miss it because I was just running, so I had no ammo. But, um. Right. What was the notebook again? Right. Lionhead Leaf Bird. There we go. You got the lion medallion. Um, I'll just check down here anyway. You never know; it might be a drawer or something. Oh, you can actually go in there. So. Well, a zombie came out there. So we can have a old, good old look around here. Nice. Okay, safe combination. We haven't got that yet. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? Well, we are the home of pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the centre of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Wow. I need the ace key for that. Right, let's check around the other side. Is that a box of bullets there? Five rounds. Ace key or spade key. Why do I keep saying ace? Spade key. Alright, has old Martin got anything else to say? No. Nope. So that's part one. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. So let's crack on. I'll have to wait until I have an abundance of uh, pistol ammo before I change pistol. 16 rounds. What I might do... Actually, I don't know. We'll just keep this for now, like I said. Alright, let's move on. That's nice. Yeah. You know, no zombie 
indeed that. That's a giant slash. Oh, mate, that is grim. Well, that is so fucking awesome. How the fuck did he get that wedge through his fucking chin? Got room here. Not getting in there. I mean, this isn't really an important hallway, so I'm not going to block that up. Well, I don't know that, but... It's quite small, so... We'll block this up. Sake. Maybe I should have boarded that up. Look at that ugly motherfucker. So maybe I should have blocked that window. I love the way they fall down in that. The physics are really awesome. Good, we're getting more pistol ammo now. We got a record of events. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it will be hard for any of us to escape the place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. That's no good, man. No good. I'm surprised you had time to do a report. So we got the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. Cool. So we're in the operations room at the minute. So we can climb over there. Oh, it's locked. So we can't shoot through it. Just hope he doesn't get up. So that's how we slash. He's hungry, look. Fat fuck. This is insane. How'd you like that, buddy? 
Oh, another one. Obviously, it's locked on the other side, as we know. His arm's off. He's got an arm off! Okay. He can get him back up, is he? No good. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else will fuck it up this badly? <laughs> so I think this is as far as I got in the demo. So we've got a bag in there, so 203. Have we got a 2 and a 3? Nope. 102. Oh, we haven't got a 2. 103. Oh, we got a knife already. 106. Some film. Actually, we'll only combine them if we have to. Got a roll of film. 109. More ammo. What ammo is that? Should be normal. So what we've got in here, shotgun, and some rounds. We don't have no key card yet. Just missed the arm off. Decided to join us. Bitch. So 208, we haven't got a 2, so we can't use that. We can't use any of these, because we ain't got a 2. Yeah, no, two. Blew his fucking head off, man, look. Right, so this is the office where old Martin turns into a zombie in the uh, in the original. Right, uses of gunpowder, handgun ammo, two times gunpowder, shotgun shells, gunpowder, plus high grade gunpowder, yellow, magnum ammo, high grade gunpowder, yellow times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Good, more ammo. So we've got one zombo in this chair. Oh! What the? Oh, he took three shots. Asshole. Four shots. Five shots. Oh my god. We like mutilated his fucking head. If I can unlock this door and get out there, I can change to the samurai edge. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. 
Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get but get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that out. Figured that much, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a long little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Shit, let me fucking read that again. Stop confusing me. The initials of our first names. The initials. That is weird. Hmm. It's confusing me. What names? You know, how many fucking names are we going to figure out? Where the fuck did that just come from? Oh, we ain't getting out. He's in that office on the left, surely. Damn it. Fuck knows, man. That's weird. I have to... Operation report. September 28, 2.30am. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her deer off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, it's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about the tunnel. Elliot Edward. You're hearing zombies, man. Shit me up. the locker oh it must be in the hallway we ain't got none of these numbers yet I'm surprised there's nothing in here to be honest Is that him? 
It's out in the hallway. So what officers do we have to rem to remember? Was it the last names? The initials of our first names. are there for Leon? I can't remember. We even got any of these names yet. It's got to be this. I reckon it's in this. Commemorative. Maybe it's got all the fucking guys' names on it. Elliot, Martin, Leon, David, Elliot, Martin, Leon, David. Shit, I've got no idea, man. Anyway, let's carry on for now. Too much wasting time. Oh, he's back up. Little asshole. Clear a space. You know that fucker's getting through. Not for much longer. Yeah, get through that, you shithead. Right, 
let's get the uh, get one of these out. away there we go medicinal benefits of herbs humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time in this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arkley Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have been have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly according to one doctor of Asian medicine. Mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. One more gunpowder. the hell that's weird red herb film contains evidence leave the light off really combine items time items can be combined with other items either to free up a slot or to create something new use the combine command to do just that So I'd say that's the end of part two, so like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed that. If not, go fuck yourself, otherwise see you in my next part.